Hey guys, you're watching The Crypto Future. My name is Teddy, and today I want to talk about some really interesting things, guys. I have been following TARP since I had my first debate with just Moonshot Justin. He told me a good, lot of good things about TARP, like, hey, TARP is going to have a um, app or a program that's going to sniff contracts and tell you if something, you know, screams rug pull. It's going to be better than token sniffer and really really like things that i wanted to hear they're on the bsc i like the whole like meme aspect of tarp but today today i think they did something that is a step backwards today they attacked another cryptocurrency without doing even the bare minimum research you are a coin that is supposed or sorry token that is supposed to help us investors make better decisions and what you did today tarp is unbelievable for investors everywhere how are we supposed to trust that you won't do this biased stuff again so anyway let's dive into this because this is really crazy hey guys um so yeah like this really is gonna sound crazy but i had to do my own research because before i tell you guys anything right i want to make sure i'm speaking from fact not speculation but sometimes i do speculate and i will tell you when i'm speculating but i went through almost all of tarp's um recent tweets nothing like this has ever happened before this is a first this is a first and i hope it is the last so what's happened is so i'm literally showing you guys that they've always talked about other stuff so it's matt and justin right and if you guys follow my channel you know i've had a civil debate with justin um just a moonshot he was a very civil guy i told him about my aws experience why i felt certain things uh were related to um issues in aws and not specifically app related and what the team had to do and how they mitigated it right so if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's like 40 something minutes long. Very fun debate. Um, but recently, or not even recently, today, today, TARP made a, um, a tweet. And the tweet reads, today we saw a sale of $2 million in Shinobi. Shinobi. Not even Shinobi, but we all know what they meant. It was brought to our attention that the deployer was involved with this wallet. This wallet received the majority of the tokens sold from the deployer at shibnobi please clarify why this and other wallets were sent this amount are you serious guys did you even do one wick of research before you even put out this tweet you are supposed to protect us investors you are going after projects like this why didn't why haven't you done this to other projects i've gone through all your tweets this is a first why are you attacking other cryptos like this you are supposed to be neutral you are supposed to be a, a a trusted source you are not supposed to show bias like this now i know justin you've told me this you have a connection with saitama devs are the saitama devs paying you to say this are the saitama devs asking you to tweet this ridiculousness why can you guys not be the example that we need in this community what is this I'm a crypto investor and this is, and I do know how many times I've tweeted, I want to invest in TARP. As soon as Satamask comes out, I want to invest in TARP. I'm looking at this, bro. I don't want to invest in TARP. If this is what TARP is about, I don't want to be have bias like that. This is straight FUD. This question was answered weeks ago. This blew up with Faltron, who's another paid fudder. And now you guys put out tweets like this, and now you're trying to backtrack and... Make it seem like, oh, yeah, so uh, we have been talking to Luke, the CMO of Shibnobi, and we've had some clarifications or getting more answers soon. TARP, you are supposed to do this research before you put out crazy statements like that. How much are people paying you to make that statement? Do you understand how crazy this looks from an investor standpoint that you guys are leaning this crazily to support the FUD? You didn't do research. You came out with this outlandish statement. I understand. Oh, Teddy, they're, they're speaking fact. They're not saying anything that's not right. They didn't even do the research. Their token is revolved around contract research, understanding um, 
you know, whether someone's going to rug you or not. This statement doesn't even tell me anything like that. All they're saying, oh, we saw $2 million in Shibnobi. That was it. Guys, they've flat out said multiple times, hey, we're doing airdrops to our pre-sales. You can look this up. They even clipped out the video and they made these statements. And for you guys to just flat out say this because someone told you to write out this tweet, I think it's crazy. I really hope you respond to this and really backtrack this craziness because at this point, my trust in TARP is like tarnished. It is tarnished. It is so disappointing to see that. And why would you even do this? Is TARP like suffering right now? Do you need to um, attack other projects and set this type of example? Like what is going through your head? You guys are two devs. You both are doxxed. Not one of you decided to, hey, guys, maybe we shouldn't attack a crypto project like this. Let's look into it before we do. Let's run it through a contract. Let's do what TARP is supposed to do. Guys, I am so disappointed because I was traveling and I had just like tweeted about, hey, say the mask. You know, I'm seeing the swap. I saw Shibnobi listed on there and then immediately it got updated to the actual listings. I put up that video and then I see this and I'm like, I cannot. I am beyond, beyond disappointed i really wanted to buy tarp but after this what what justin i really hope you freaking apologize because what this is or even matt there needs to be an apology you should not be going after crypto what you do is setting an example for other tarp 69 gang or saitama wolf pack whoever it is to attack other projects you should be the change that you want to see. You should not be attacking other cryptos. And I understand, oh, Teddy, who are you telling me what I should or shouldn't do? I run, I'm an investor. I would have been a potential investor. This is what you're doing. This is so disappointing, guys. Like, so are they really suffering here? Do they need to put out statements like this because they're down a lot or... I mean, what's going on? Still 4,000 something holders up. Like, what is the big issue that you had to make a statement like that? I'm just so disappointed. I am an investor and this is what you do. I mean, now, now I see the writings on the freaking wall. I mean, it is downtrending, but usually after a downtrend or it's like a downtrend wedge right here, it is going to do a breakout, right? But regardless, there is no reason for you guys to put out that statement. Oh, wow. When in doubt, zoom out. It is stayed down trending. Slow rug pull, right? I'm just so disappointed. I wanted to get into TARP. The dip looks good. And now you guys put out a statement like this attacking other cryptos. And no matter how you justify it, the fact that you did not do the, the simple, the simple, simple, simple work, even one minute of research would have gotten you that answer. And it just shows how... How not? How much knowledgeable? How much knowledge you really have in this space? This is the type of shit that TARP is gonna do as we go forward. This is how we're gonna find out from TARP's biases that they have with the Saitama team, because this literally feels like paid fud. This literally feels like paid fud. I'm talking to you guys. Make a statement. Do the right thing. This is wrong. I don't know what else I can say. I was just, I was fuming even at the airport when I was traveling today. Like, I understand, like, this was a crypto investment I really wanted to get into. But you know what? I, I, got, I got into something else instead. I could have spent that time in, to go with you guys. But nope, that's not going to be me. If you show this much bias to one project, how do I know I'm not going to get that same bias if someone fuds you or pays you to spread that FUD? You're, you're literally setting a bad example and... It's just disappointing. I hope you guys change. And I really want to get this reaction because I'm seeing that, oh, this is all positive from the wolf pack. This is not positive. This is not a positive thing. This is nothing to be happy about. This is a disappointment to the crypto world. This is a disappointment. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm literally so sad because I wanted to get into TARP and they're doing this. I'm just, I have no words. I'm, I'm sorry about this video. I understand. I was, I'm, I'm just very angry. I'm like, I cannot believe that they are stooping down to this level. And I literally looked at them for an investment. And 
It's unfortunate, but I ain't gonna do it. I mean, I ain't gonna do it.